Okay, everybody. So welcome. I am Marguerite Regalioso of Seven Sisters Mystery School, and I am live here today with Ariana Newcomer, who is a certified level two Dove Oracle Priestess, who's also enrolled in our level three class. And so we are here today to talk about what it means to be an oracle. So welcome, Ariana. Thank you so much. I'm delighted to be here with you. Blessed be. Yeah. So um, we want to just say first to listeners, watchers, viewers, um, that we're working with a little bit of a new technology. This is a Zoom interface. And so if for some reason um, we get bumped off or you're not seeing us anymore, we're going to come on in a different way. Okay. So, um, so stay tuned with us and uh, come back to us. All right. So Ariana, um, this is all about, you know, we've been part of a movement here to reestablish the Oracle priestesses on the planet again. Uh, reawakening Delphi, <laughs> wherever you are. And um, so this is an important part of women connecting back with their Oracle voice. And that is their innate wisdom. But Oracle priestesses are women who have specifically dedicated some of their time or life to, to accessing this information more strongly. So let's have you talk about what is an Oracle Priestess today? What does this mean to you? Well, this has been a real reclaiming for me of my whole self to, uh, to do this Priestess training with you. Um, and I am really excited about what we're doing now in level three but it was kind of the final piece in, in bringing all the puzzle pieces together of all the work that I've done in my life so that I could actually weave this new tapestry of work that I'm doing in the world. And I'm really passionate about helping to create the change we need on the planet at this time. And to me, reclaiming Oracle priestess, priestesses as essential <clears throat> voices in the world is really important. Women's voices are urgently needed. Now we move into this new era that we're creating of, of real partnership between men and women, but women reclaiming our place as spiritual leaders, mentors, and teachers. So for me, after I did my level two training, I created a uh, uh, an interview series, an online interview series called Reclaiming the Wise Woman Elder for the Healing of Earth. And I got to interview some of my favorite mentors, including you, <laughs> and Rianne Eisler and Barbara Marks Hubbard and more. And then I created a group program called the Wise Woman Immersion. And I have used many, many of the things that I learned in doing the priestess training with you. And I do include private mentoring sessions for the women in the program. And I do oracle readings for them. Great. So what's different from when you were doing your, your professional work before versus after you took the training? Um, what should somebody who's interested in this training know? It's going to take you a lot deeper. <laughs> it's, it's this wonderful journey. It's this combination of this deep personal healing, always doing our own personal work is of course the foundation and creating this deep self-love practice, which is very beautiful and important. And then opening our perceptions again to reclaim what is our natural human birthright of being able to bring through information from spirit mm -hmm. and what i always have loved about the way that you teach and mentor is that it's it's really open for us to to do this in the way that works for us that there's no one way to do this that everyone 
receives information in different ways. And mm -hmm. the circle that you create with us in the group is so supportive and nourishing. And in level one, it took me through a very dark time in my life and the circle was so supportive and helpful. Bless it so, it's a real coming home and, and a deepening and a coming into my wisdom and then feeling the, the comfort in my ability to then bring it out into the world. Excellent. Let's talk about some of the ways that you express your Oracle information. Um, you know, there, there are numbers of ways that we can see here. Specifically, which one of the players might be yours or, or how do you receive, see, and then transmit the information? What are your modalities? I most often hear words from my circle of guides, but once in a while it, I get visions. And then I, I kind of transcribe them and, and type them. Sometimes uh, as I am channeling, I will channel out loud and record. And then afterward, I often transcribe them so that it's easy to go back and look at it later. And I have begun uh, giving these transmissions to my email list, so to my followers. And it's the most favorite thing, apparently. <laughs> for my list, I've been doing a monthly full moon oracle message and uh, sometimes I record it and give them the option of listening or reading. And then last month I actually did a video guided meditation. And um, then when I do this work with my clients in mentoring, it's a combination of healing work, ancestral healing sometimes, uh, bringing messages in for them from spirit, engaging their spirit guides, and then helping them engage with their own ability to see with that inner sight. Yeah, very, very important. So again, this is for people who are just coming on to, to watch us um, live. I'm talking, I'm Marguerite regal Yozo of Seven Sisters Mystery School. I'm talking with Ariana Newcomer, who's a certified level two Dove Oracle Priestess with Seven Sisters Mystery School, currently also in our level three course. And uh, we're interested in communicating with everybody right now because presently our level one course is enrolling. It starts March, excuse me, May 17th, 2018, and it runs online through June 21st. And so it's open worldwide to everyone. We have many beautiful sisters registering with us again, um, and some who are taking it over again to, to refresh their tools and so forth. So we're gonna talk about how you can sign up for that uh, a bit later and how you can continue to get more information. But right now, you know, this today we're in our series, uh, this is what an Oracle Priestess looks like today because we've had, you know, for many centuries and, and millennia, um, shaman women, then we've had Oracle women, then we've had, you know, witches, then we had the great burnings with that, then we've had channelers. Okay, and of course, all the while, shaman women have, have stayed doing what they're doing, but there've been many, many disruptions to this, this path on the planet for various reasons that we won't go into now, but we are resurrecting this. And I feel that with the Priestess of the Dove Oracle training, we're taking it to a new level. We're taking the quote unquote channeling into a new level where we're really trying to link up with not just a voice coming in, from here or there, or you know, having a full body incorporation right. from a being. But we're, we're, what we're doing, we're weaving into what I call our goddess selves or our Sophia divine oracle wisdom. That's how I'm, I'm teaching. And also there's a strong ethical component with that. You know, can we, can we continue to receive the deepest information, the most integrated information? So all the tools are, are geared toward that in the level one and then the level two training, which starts in the fall, which is a full six month training. So we're speaking with Ariana on how she's using this uh, in her life now. So Ariana, let's, let's do a before and after. So you were talking a little bit about how bef before, you know, the, this process of this training has been a really deep integration for you, but before the training, 
what were you doing professionally? And now after the training, what has this enabled you to do? My coaching and mentoring business before I did the training was primarily working with voice. And I had received this information from spirit that what I do is called healing the soul's voice to joyfully express its divine purpose. And uh, it was mainly speaker training with a large dose of personal growth uh, thrown in. (laughs) And uh, now it's become clear, and this even was revealed in some of our private mentoring sessions, uh, because I've been working with Marguerite for, I think, four years now. Um, And the guys would always say there's more to it than voice. And so doing the training really allowed me, as I said before, to kind of pull all these pieces and put the puzzle together. And so it's really so much richer. Now I still do work with voice and opening up our expression, but the soul's voice is the combination of our fully expressed human embodied voice with our fully expressed divine self voice brought together through our miraculous throat chakra, which is the only chakra that creates sound. Yeah. And so it includes all of that of uh, coming home to self in this really very profound way as a combined human and divine being. Wow, okay, extraordinary. And I want to invite viewers uh, who are live with us, if you have any questions about the Oracle path, either of myself or of Ariana and what she's doing, please write in or let us know that you're there. Uh, We welcome this. We're gonna stay in conversation a bit longer here. So Ariana, let's hear from you some of your views. Um, Sunday, as you know, the level three students collectively created and offered our launch of the global Oracle Priestess Movement live ceremony. And that was also an act, a global activation to clear traumas from the witch burnings and the closing down of the oracle voice throughout the past several millennia, the reestablishing of the oracle grids and the reprotecting of them with dragon and other energies. I'm wondering if you could speak to what you've been observing about this new evolution um, of the oracle onto the planet, some of the glories and benefits of it and where we're going and maybe some of the challenges, even speaking to some of the challenges that we had as a group doing that ritual. <laughs> yeah, we certainly had a lot of technical difficulties uh, doing it. And it, it, so it seemed like there might've been some kind of energetic interference mm-hmm. with what we were doing. and. Though I do see in the work that I do in the Wise Women Immersion and with my private clients that the collective consciousness is shifting. And so that when we do this kind of deep work and when we work in circles as women and when we open our voices and when we bring our spiritual selves fully out there, here I am, (laughs) woo-woo. then it does help to shift the conversation. And I've noticed, as I said in my, to my email list, their favorite things seem to be the Oracle messages. And our ritual got a lot, a lot of response from people saying, thank you, thank you. Yeah. And I've been doing this work with dragons and I've been um, you know, calling these things. And so it's happening all over the world. Yeah, and we're we're tapping into this collective movement, and yeah. really something that's going to be it's already showing. I believe in the Me Too movement. Yes, that women's voices are being heard. In yes, a way that we haven't been heard for many, many, many years. So I, it's my deep feeling and understanding that that is part of this movement. Yeah, absolutely. I think Me Too is a really important opener for all of us, as you're saying so brilliantly there, for women's voices to come out. And then the further steps of that are the actual, not just the 
complaining voices and the no voices, but the yes voices, the this is what we want voices, the this is where we're going voices, the oracle voices, the, the this is what's real for planet Earth and this is what's possible for planet Earth and this is the healing practices that we're going to be implementing and these are the visions that we want, right? This is all part of that trajectory of women's voices uh, opening back up. Let me truly bringing our spirituality into everything that we do. So it's not divorced from corporations anymore. It's not divorced from politics anymore. And, you know, we're talking about this, this more uh, foundational spirituality. So not necessarily attached to a particular religious dogma, but the, the, the real foundations of love and compassion and connection. Yeah. It's, it's evolutionary too, because it's those components of love and compassion with a kind of a new flair, like a, a flavor of, of something new, some new rung of the spiral of where we're going with all the starseed children coming onto the planet, the awakenings of our global and cosmic history, you know, seeing beyond the sort of religious stories and programmings that we've been given that are so limited and saying, hey, were we co-created by a bunch of, you know, interdimensional beings from various places? And what does that mean for us? And where are we going? And what are the great things that are happening? What are the scary things that have been happening that we need to know about and release? All that type of thing. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, Again, for those of us who, who are just joining live, we, we welcome any comments, any questions that you have about the Oracle movement, about what we're doing here, um, opening the Oracle portals, allowing more and more and more women the tools to access their information once again in a reliable way. Um, this is all leading up to the, the start of our level one Oracle training class next Thursday, May 17th, which we are, we are warmly welcoming everyone to join in. And I will be providing the link for that um, at the end uh, after this video is completed. I'm going to write it down on this post and you can find out more about that. I've been talking lately about people connecting with their divine Sophia Oracle wisdom. And on that registration page for level one, there is access to a free call that I've done so that um, we can, you know, you can have a taste of what level one would be, a taste of what connecting with divine Sophia Oracle wisdom would be all about for you and what the, the program might be for, uh, for you. So, okay. Um, I know that there are comments that have been coming in. I'm not exactly seeing them here on the page. There's, there's someone that just popped a message in to, um, to our Seven Sisters Mystery School page. So we'll get back to you. We'll get back to you. On that, I think it's Joanne or Joanna. Okay, excellent. Very yeah. good. Meanwhile. And, meanwhile. Uh, and I just want to, to say, I uh, highly recommend Marguerite as a mentor and teacher. Thank She's you. always um, one of my sort of essential elements in a mentor is someone who is always learning and growing and continuing to do their own work. And Marguerite is that person and I really respect that about her. And she is wonderful to work with. She has high level of integrity and the level one training will be a fabulous coming home for you to more of the wholeness of who you are as a combined human and divine being. So uh -huh. very very true. True. Thank you so much for that. And let's talk about Ariana rolling back. If you can remember, you know, you've now been through level one and the six month level two training, which is a whole journey. But when you were just starting out about level one, you said it was a, a difficult time for you. And level one is really focused on using these tools in your own life. It, it starts getting you prepared for being the oracle for others, but not quite. It's more if you want to get a taste of it for yourself. So what, did, what changed for you as a result of level one? Um, you know, so much has shifted in the last, what has it been? two and a half years or something, or, or I'm not sure. 
Yeah. But certainly having a, a much greater ability to ground and center. You have tools to use to help clear any stuff that's going on for me, um, to be able to be less reactive and more responsive in my relationships and with others. Um, and, and having that ability to just much more easily connect with spirit and, and pull in that guidance for myself so rich and so wonderful and so expansive. Yeah. Um, it really adds a whole other dimension to life. Wow. Yeah. So the level one is not just about becoming the Oracle voice, but it's really about that personal transformation, the personal growth, the, the, the managing your psychic space, which is a big thing because a lot of women are afraid they're afraid to step out onto this path. They're afraid to access their information. They're afraid to speak it, you know, because of all the programs and that are out there in society. And so maybe and you can see we're, so, we're also, we're just so used to giving away our energy and allowing other people to just plug in and drain us. Right. And so we got tools also to manage that as well. Yeah, and, and um, you know, some protection tools. Um, Ariana, if you had not taken the Priestess of the Dove Oracle training, how do you think your life might be different today? <laughs> I can't imagine it. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't imagine not having done this. And uh, I, I would be... I would feel like I was, you know, limping along without a limb or something. I... Yeah. Okay. And then let's, maybe this will be our last uh, piece, unless we, we end up getting questions from people um, on the posts. Uh, let's see. Okay. We do have some, let's, let's read these. They're coming in. Um, and let me read Joanna's. Um, she said, um, she is really uh, drawn to the training, keen to develop her feminine power, to join with other women to help shift consciousness on the planet. She's just newly awakened spiritually, keen to develop her intuition, but doesn't have strong psychic skills. Will the okay. level one training help me develop those? Yes, absolutely. Okay, do you wanna to speak to that, Ariana? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so that, that's really, um, you begin, of course, the, the level one is really just an introduction. And so there's more to do as you can continue on. But you absolutely start that process. And you start it in a way that's really, um, it's, it's, it can sometimes be frightening for people when, when we're beginning to open our psychic skills. But Marguerite sets the container in such a way that it's really safe. So it's, it's a really safe place to do it. Blessed be, absolutely. And I'm adding in here the link if people want to, um, well, I hope I'm not gonna, <laughs> I hope, yeah, I'm gonna add in, in the link here um, for people to see the training um, on the training. And there's the link for you. We're saving it now. I'm also going to put it on the um, on the Facebook page. There under. Okay, good. Anyway, we'll we'll add that in later. But yes, um, and Ariana, um, maybe you can read off some of the comments that are there as well, because there's there's some other things that are coming in. Uh, that we'd like to address here. Yeah, there's a uh, um, Lisa, um, L-I-S-E. That's also my my birth name is Lisa with an E, L-I-S-E. Synchronicity. Uh, <laughs> and Ariana is my spiritual name. So uh, she says, I was just about to connect with you on this recently experienced physical sexual trauma. And as a holistic vocal practitioner, I've further understood the many, many layers of internal voices and particularly women's voices, the 
self-perpetuated vocal suppression that we're becoming further aware of. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so, you know, there we have the unification yeah. of the sexual trauma with the closing off of women's voices. And we just want to address that is part and parcel of the closing down of the Oracle centers, the burning of the witches. There was a sexual violence aspect. We, we don't want to get into that, but I just want to honor you, Lisa, Lisa, Lisa however you are pronouncing your name, um, to say yes and no. We're, we're ending that now. We're ending that now. So much love to you. Yeah, so, so much love to you. Having what you're having to go through. That's Absolutely, because this is a form of, of spirit possession, entity possession on the part of our men. It's not natural to them. And um, that's something that you learn about l later in the training, you know, in the, in the more, the longer version of it, um, because this is what we're clearing from our personal spaces, from our community spaces, from our global space. Okay, it needs yeah. to stop now. And it's me too does not just stop at the social level. It, it goes into the spiritual level. It goes into the entity level. Like why are these transgressions even happening? Okay, that's a psychic question. And that's what we're all looking at here. And to be clear too, um, Marguerite doesn't demonize the men. And so, so this isn't all about how horrible the men are. It's absolutely we've all been damaged by this particular culture and um, the men in different ways from the women, but um, to have that understanding that it's it's really about all of us having been damaged and we are all gonna be happier, better off, more whole as we move into partnership. Absolutely, because this is, this is a plague that has hit us all planetarily. This is a psychic and a spiritual problem on the earth. And this is what we're clearing and becoming part of the Oracle path is part of that clearing for yourself. Ariana, what else do we have coming up there? And I think I'm accessing it now too. Um, for some reason I could see it a little while ago and now I can't. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm looking now. Um, let me see. Okay. I could. Right. Yeah. So we're talking here today about what it is to be an Oracle priestess today, what an Oracle priestess looks like today. And I would say, basically look in the mirror <laughs> and uh, where I'm speaking specifically to Ariana newcomer, who's a level two and now level three dove Oracle priestess, but there are many others um, of you that, you know, are everybody's an Oracle and these, these tools and trainings are open to everyone. We're highly encouraging everybody to join us for the level one training, which starts May 17th um, online via Zoom, very easy to access. Now, um, okay, yes. Yeah, so we're, we're gonna just stay on for a few more minutes. We welcome any other comments or questions. We appreciate who's, who's here with us. Um, Ariana, why don't we just do a little experiment? Okay. In our last few minutes here, why don't we just um, connect in together and see, we're gonna do a co-oracle and see what's wanting to come through for those who are, are seeing this live, who are going to see it as, as it continues to go around the world. Uh, what is it that, that women and men and anyone, any gender who's watching needs to hear from us about this today? So give us a moment, everyone, as we tap in here. I am just getting right away. Uh, do not fear, dear ones. This is the way forward. The old stories that you've been told, that you may remember from other lives, do not apply now. This is the time for all to claim their divine being as humans on earth at this time. This is the time for all to raise their voices, for all to come forward, for all to develop these perceptions, these abilities, which are 
your birthright. It is time. Yes, this is the time of the great clearing, the great healing, the great opening, the great reopening. And really the foundation of all of this is love. Because when we access our true oracle voice, we are accessing the divine wisdom stream of mother divine, which is and who is love. So ultimately these messages are all about how we can heal through love, how we can bring more love into our lives and our world and how we can co-create through love. The paths are many, the opportunities are infinite. It is as unique as you are, as your DNA, as your fingerprints. That is the uniqueness of your Oracle voice and you come and you join in chorus with all of the other Oracle voices and we put out there now a vision of the entire earth plane, everyone, opening to their true divine oracle wisdom. Mm -hmm. And just join with us in that vision, seeing this opening happening for yourself, seeing this opening happening for every single person on the planet. And Listen. for all of us moving into the higher dimensional reality as we whew, collectively, yes, Ariana. They're saying, listen and feel and pay attention to the small inner promptings that are calling you. This is one path for you to come into that greater expansion of self you have been longing for. The true nature of you is here for you to explore, discover, reclaim, and inhabit fully. This is one of the ways Yes, if this is calling, answer the call. This is the time of the great turning. This is the time of the great awakening. You are part of that. So allow this transmission of empowerment that's coming to you now as you listen to these words to do its magic within your body, mind, spirit, DNA system. so that you may walk forward from here on with that magic, inhabiting your life and leading your life. Blessed be. Blessed be. All right, wow. Okay, I really went up into there. <laughs> All right, so, okay, everybody. We wanna thank you. I wanna thank Ariana Newcomer Certified level two, Dove Oracle Priestess, uh, a beautiful healer and oracle in her own right, who's working with women in incredible ways. I encourage you to look her up uh, and see if her medicine is for you. And again, we warmly welcome you to consider joining us for the level one Priestess of the Dove Oracle training, the intro course, which also gives you your entry into level two, should you want to do that. But this one is six weeks fully online, starts May 17th through June 21st. If you can't be with us live, you can watch in replay. And the sisterhood is forming now. Please join us. The link is in a couple of places under this video. Many blessings. Any final words, Ariana? We invite you to join our growing circle of Oracle Priestesses. Yes. Welcome one, welcome one and all. All right. Bye-bye for now.